Okay, good morning. This is Tuesday the 31st of March and today we are going to do Sleek It. So, you've got today for time, so as fast as you can, as long as your form's good, eight rounds of 10 goblet squats, 10 shoulder to overhead and 10 ab mat sit-ups, okay? Work your way through those three things again, 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 till you've done eight rounds, okay? So you finish your last round on 10 ab mat sit-ups. This is a fairly easy one for you to, to oops, uh, a fairly easy one for you to improvise with. Goblet squats, of course, can be done with nothing. You could just squat. So heels about shoulder width apart, keep your chest up, make sure you initiate by pushing your hips back first, hips back, knees out, feet stay flat on the floor. If you struggle a little bit with squats, then squat to a chair. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 10 squats, goblet squats. Okay, so with a weight. If you're holding a dumbbell, then hold it like that. If you don't have a dumbbell, maybe you've got your handy dandy backpack done now. Okay, I think something's starting to come through mine. <laughs> I can see this wrapped in duct tape by the time we're finished. Okay. Squat holding your odd object, okay? You might have improvised by now by wrapping up something, loads and loads of duct tape round it, covered it with something else, loads more duct tape round it. As long as it's a weight that you like using, it's perfect, okay? So, that's goblet squats, the shoulder to overhead. If you've got two dumbbells, great. If you don't, I'm gonna show you what to do. How are two dumbbells? Dumbbell on each shoulder, keep your elbows below the dumbbells, little dip, strong drive up with your legs. What you're looking for, feet stay flat on the ground, be careful that when you dip, you don't lean forward, okay? So it's a vertical dip. As you dip, don't let your knees come in, keep them away from each other, okay? So you're using your legs to drive the weight up off your shoulder, so you can finish overhead with your arm nice and locked out. Now, if you've only got one weight, you don't have two, then do half of the reps on one arm, half on the other. If you've got nothing like that, we're back to our old object. Hold it beneath your chin, elbows below it, little dip, strong extension, arms finish locked out overhead. When you go overhead, try not to keep your head back like this. Bring your head neutral between your arms. Okay, and then the last one is the ab mat sit-ups. Don't worry if you've not got an ab mat, you can come up with some creative alternatives. It's not that hard to solve from an ab mat, to be honest. Put the soles of your feet together, all the way back over the ab mat, touch the ground, all the way back up, touch the ground in front of your feet. If you've got an ab mat, then it always goes with the fat end of the ab mat, next to your butt. So if you've made yourself something, <laughs> this is like a, is that snood or a buff or something? Sort of thing that goes like round your neck in the winter. Um, I just stuffed it with some, a small towel and things. Okay, so that just going to sit in behind me and it just act a similar way. Uh, you can roll up a towel, put that behind you, roll up a jumper or something like that. Uh, doesn't really matter. You can do them without. I mean, it's not it's not that big a deal if you do them without. You'll probably find them more difficult. Or you can do V-tucks. You can do V-tucks instead. That's, again, fine. So, eight rounds, ten reps of each movement. You're trying to get as good a time for this as you can. Download the SugarWod app and post your scores. Okay? Good luck, guys. I'll see you later.